Hey guys, welcome back. Let me start off this video by congratulating you for making it this far. By this time, you should have already completed your PHP forms application as well as all of the CRUD operations that are required for supporting it. And in this video, we will be uploading all of our hard work to GitHub. So just to review, we would have built this entire application and we now want to put it into a remote repository. Now, while I'm doing this at pretty much the end of all of our work, it is actually advisable that you do this as early as possible because as we were working on it, if our machine crashed, we would have only had one copy of it and that would have been on our machine. There's also no tangible way to track all of the changes that we've made to files and any changes that maybe our colleagues or coworkers would have also made. So Git being a source control mechanism is an excellent way to track all the changes and keep a spare copy of your project at all times. And especially with the availability of remote repositories such as GitHub, we can have multiple copies of our project as we work towards the end. Now in this video, we are going to use GitHub for desktop, so you can just find that. And by now, I'm assuming that you would have already installed and configured that. In GitHub desktop, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to add Local Repository. Now I'm going to navigate to the project that we have. So our project is in C Zamp HD Docs or wherever you install Zamp, but in HD Docs is where you should have had your attendance project. So we're just going to select that folder and then it's going to warn us that there is no repository in this folder. Would you like to create one? And we will just tick that, create it. And so we get this screen where we can just go ahead and click create. Once that operation is done, our Git repository is created locally, and then we'll be asked if we want to publish it to GitHub. So we can just go ahead and click Publish Repository. We maintain the name, and I'm going to untick the part that keeps this code private because I want it public so everybody who has followed these lessons can have access to the code. And then we publish repository. Now I go to GitHub web and log in and I will see my repository listed right here for access. So I can just click it. And having done that, I will see all of my files nicely put down on this remote storage space. While we're here though, I'll just use the time to add a quick description to the project so that when you come across it, you know exactly what it is. All right, so we just added our, I just added a description real quickly. And I think that's it. That's it for adding our project to GitHub. Do remember that from here we can track all changes. So I didn't make a change and the change I didn't make was to add the button for back to list to our edit page. So I'm going to make that change right now. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this button and I'm going to take out BTN block because I don't want it to stretch right across. But then this one, I'm going to have back to list to the left and I'm going to leave save changes to the right. And this one is going to be BTN default. And well, well, actually this should all be an anchor tag. So let me just change this quickly. All right, so I changed the button completely to an anchor tag and the href will be back to the listings page, which is view records.php. And I'm using the class BTN and BTN default. So it retains the look of a button. And what I'm going to do is save all of this and then refresh the page. And that's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to have my edit page and then my link to go back and the other one to save changes. All right. So I just made this change. What's going to happen now is that Git is tracking these changes. And once again, this is the benefit of using GitHub. Git is tracking these changes. So when I bring up GitHub Desktop, it's showing me what was changed and what it was changed to. And I can commit this to master, master being that final branch that, you know, it's production ready and I can now push the origin. Now I'm going to, I have a different tutorial on how to manage Git using branches and promoting code. 
But in this situation, since we're the only ones building this, we can always push the master, even though that's not the best idea at all times. And so having done that commit and push to origin or push to GitHub, if I go back to my repository and I refresh, then looking at the edit page would show that I just did an edit 32 seconds ago. All right, so once again, this is a great collaborative tool where everybody can see what changes are being made along the way. Having done all of this, the next step is to publish our websites to Heroku. So stick around as this chapter is coming to a close.